Okay, this is continuing on on the special senses, and we're still working with the eyes. Uh, I'll try to keep this one super short. Pretty much with eye accommodation, all it's saying is it's the ability for the eye to relax and constrict. And you have these ciliary bodies that we covered in the previous video. And when they constrict or pull, they'll widen uh, the lens and when they constrict, or when they don't pull, so when you have no light, the ciliary body will relax and your pupil will get super dilated and trying to let as much light in as possible. That's when they relax. When they're constricting, um, they're pulling the iris tighter and they're leaving only just a small opening for light to pass through, um, so it will squeeze the lens. That's all eye accommodation is. Um, refraction, all he wanted us to know for that one is if you see a boat, out in the water, light hits it, the light travels, and it gets to our eye. And when it comes into our eye, Uh, the image is flipped. So it's the ability to bend light. That's all refraction is. Nearsighted uh, or myopia is all that's happening is two things actually. The cornea can either be too steep or the eye can be elongated. So what's happening is you have your eye and we'll say this one's just elongated. Light comes in, and because the, um, let's say the retina should be right there, but the eye is elongated. So I actually do this a little bit out of proportion. If the light continued on and then focused right there, that's where it should be focusing. But because your actual retina, um, is back here, you're not seeing the image clear, clearly. So this is uh, nearsighted, so myopia. So you're, the image is showing up too early for you. And the same thing can happen. It can be with elongation of the eye, or if your cornea is misshaped, it can put the, or the image ahead of the retina. So that's myopia or nearsightedness. With hyperopia, it's the exact opposite. You have your eye, and this one's, instead of being too long, it's too short. So the light comes in, and it starts to focus, and it focuses back here, where your eye should be, or the retina, but your actual retina is right here. And so this leaves you with, um, Hyperopia, or farsightedness. Astigmatism is an uneven cornea. So what's happening is you have this cornea, it's a little bit misshaped, and then the eye, yeah, it comes back around. And let's say this part, light's coming in, and it's kind of focusing right there. So light's hitting there and it's focusing, but then light's hitting here and it's kind of bouncing it up. And you're seeing image up there. So you're getting light hitting different parts of the retina. So people with astigmatism um, will see really distorted TV or objects. So if you're looking at a TV, like in your living room, you would see it like this, but someone with astigmatism kind of might see it a little bit distorted because the image is being shown in multiple spots on the retina. So that's all astigmatism is. Convergence, um, the ability to focus far off. All this is saying is if you had, if you're driving at night and there's a stop sign. Off. 
in the distance. Some mountain ranges and you have the road going by. And as you're driving, you're kind of spacing, so you're looking at everything so you have a wide field of vision. So you're kind of looking at everything right here. And with convergence, all you're doing is you think you see a stop sign, so all you do is you focus on it, and it'll bring in your field of vision so that you can see it. But when you focus on something, you lose your peripheral vision. So all of this is lost, but you get to focus further off. Um, so that's convergence. Accommodation, um, pupillary reflex. This is just the ability to focus clearly on objects at different distances. Um, so if you were looking and got a bunch of... grass out here and you have out in the distance got some mountain ranges and you're talking to someone and they're standing right up close to you So you're kind of focusing on them, and then you see a little cat run out in the field. And then you focus out on the cat, and then you see someone else that just kind of came out of nowhere, and they're walking around, now you're wondering what they're doing. And then you see this crazy person come out of this direction, and now they're starting to walk towards you. And with the accommodation pupillary reflex, with your pupil, it's just the ability for your eye, for you to look from one person to all these different objects. at different distances and then to be able to focus and clearly see them without having to spend a lot of time adjusting and sometimes if they're super far off or if your vision's bad you actually yes you focus but relatively it doesn't take you long to uh, a better example is if we're sitting in class And we're trying to pay attention to what Dr. H is saying. He's got his PowerPoint up here. And you can be looking at your desk and writing notes right here. And your book will be in focus. And then as soon as you look up, you can read his PowerPoint. And then you look back down and you can read it again. It's just the ability to focus and change quickly. And that pretty much covers uh, all of the eye. The only other one he had on there was uh, photopupillary reflex, and that is just the fact that your eye constricts when it um, a bunch of light hits it from all directions. It just constricts, it. and if there's no light, it relaxes. That's pretty much the only thing to cover there. So that covers all the eye. I hope that helps you guys out.